Hey everyone, are you gonna wait okay? Today I wanted to do something a little different. I've made Leo a super easy lunch of uh, Lunchables. So I thought we'd make some brownies. Are we gonna make some brownies trying to get the peanut butter? <laughs> We're gonna make some organic jammy monster brownies, aren't we? Are we gonna make these and yummy brownies for you? I thought it'd be fun to do it together. It does mean I'm gonna be cramped and I apologize. <laughs> Just down to get his, his level. What you need is, you need 100 grams of flour and 50 grams of cocoa powder. You need 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of dark chocolate. You need 300 grams of sugar, 100 grams of peanut butter, 100 grams of jam and four eggs what I had in there and you neither use normal jammy dodgers but we use the little organic ones because they're his favourite. These are very high in sugar so he'll probably have one. If that I'll probably break them into half but I'll have them and they'll be yummy. <laughs> are you already starting without me? So first thing you need to do is get your butter. Mummy didn't get a spoon. Go silly mommy, you need to scrape it in, can you scrape it in, can you scrape it in, good job, I love getting you involved with stuff like this because I think it's just so good for his key communication, he does lack in his speech, he is developing a speech delay, so I find with this it's, uh, <laughs> I need it's all better, I find with this, it's quite good to, to get him talking about what we're doing. You're going to put the chocolate in? No, you're going to try and eat the chocolate, ain't you? Should mommy put it in? You need that bit what's fallen. There we go. He has a little chocolate monster. It does need to be dark chocolate. You get that creamier like that. I probably used a bigger... Probably should have used a bigger dish, but oh well. What are you going to do? And then what you want to do, you can do this over a hob in a bowl. I, because I've got Leo with me, I'm going to do it in the microwave. So you don't spoil the chocolate, you want to do it for 30 seconds blab until it's all fully melted. I am holding Leo so he doesn't fall backwards. I do, if you go online, you can see these little helper. Um, they're like little sticks, but they also work as stools. And I absolutely love the idea of them, but I just never know when I'm going to use them. Yeah, we're going to do that now. You've got chocolate all over your mush mush. Then you want to grab your bowl. You want to put it in. You want to put in the flour and cocoa mixture. Super job. You want to put in your sugar. Can you put it in? Super job! I'm gonna mix it all. Let me get another spoon. I forgot what I was saying. But I eat it, mix it. It is very messy when you're working with your toddler and trying to do it. But I do find the enjoyment factor of it is a lot more. As you can see, it's only been on for 30 seconds, but it already is melting and getting that nice consistency. I am still getting used to a microwave. I've only just started using one a couple of years ago. And it's very rare I use it. I do prefer my beans on my hob still. <laughs> I do prefer my beans on my hob still. As you can see, they won't eat stuff like this, but in my eyes, it's a tiny bit of sugar off from a spoon. And as long as he isn't eating a raw egg, then I'm not really that fussed. The thing I do find, I love cooking with vegan recipes, obviously this isn't vegan, but I will try and find a vegan recipe for it. That I do now, mix. I will try and find a vegan recipe because I think with vegan, where you don't add the eggs in, it's just a lot better for your kids. They can kind of, if they want to lick the spoon, they can lick the spoon. If 
I want to put my hand in it, but I can't. I've run the other day, finding me his dad and Leo, who's going to be eating this. No one else is, obviously. One lockdown, no one's coming over. No one's going to be having any. So, ideally, a bit of Leo germs. Doesn't bother us. Add your egg in and give that a good mix. Oh. remember if I went through the whole ingredients or if I skipped it because of Leo. As you can see it's got that nice smooth glossy texture. Mix! They eat mix. Good boy. Got that nice smooth glossy texture. What we're looking for. Bit of soap happen on one minute. I will say that this is done. Oh no. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Well, I'll give it another 30 second break, and then it should be done. What I do with my chocolate, like you probably could tell, is I chop it very finely. I chop it very finely. And then that way, I find it melts quicker and easier. So I can keep an eye on this little one who's eating it, or if I put that there, Stop eating it! Yucky! What I will do, just to keep him quiet and stop him from eating, I'm going to give him one of his little organics and I'll get another one out of his snack bag. <laughs> it's so messy! This is why I love having vegan recipes because if he eats it, it's not a big deal. He didn't have the packaging, so I'll probably put that there. I'm, I never thought I'd do Something like this. But I thought it might be fun. I thought it'd be good for him. Gives him something to do and gets him involved. Cody, the little baby, who is four months, is currently asleep. He's quite good. He sleeps. He kind of naps more in the morning when there's a wake more afternoon even it. So it's quite good because it means I can get everything out of the way. You see, that is the perfect consistency there. It's smooth and it's glossy, nothing's been tented. And then what you want to do, excuse me, mister, you want to fold it in slowly to your chocolate mix. Like I said, it is very chocolatey, but what are brownies that are not chocolatey? I will try and make these into blondies. I will try and find a healthier recipe for the kiddies so they can have more. But I'll be honest, I just wanted a super lazy day. Can you get your foot down? <laughs> I wanted a super lazy day. I found something really chocolatey for myself. So, why not? I do still need to line my pan. I'll let Leo help with that because he'll quite enjoy that, I think. He's loving. I absolutely love organic range. We have some Gruffalo organic craw crisps coming from Amazon. And I think there was $5.95 for three. His dad took away. I always leave a little covering on my butter for grease finger. I do like baking quite a bit. And his dad took it away, so I'll use some kitchen roll. You get a bit of butter, you creep the pan. I don't have any baking paper. Littles don't sell it only if it comes on with a special buy. And I do need to buy some. <laughs> you need to lick the butter. <laughs> it's a good thing we have no one coming over because we're in lockdown, really. <laughs> then what you want to do is you want to get your mixture and pour it in. Yeah, as I was saying, we've got these buffalo cores coming from Amazon. I think it was $5.95 and you get three, four, five packs. Good boy, but we don't need that yet. You're going to eat that, ain't you? There you go. That was just a bit of chocolate. <laughs> no, Leo, you're not having that now. It's going in the bin. 
Right. Sometimes the dog can be strict, to be kind. It's a horrible thing with being a mom. But obviously, it does contain raw egg. I don't want them to have raw egg. It is quite bad for them. It can give them slime and other poisoning. So if I have to be a mean mom and say no and take it away, I will do. Then what you want to do, once you've got it in your pan, cut it down to make it even. Then you want to add little dollops of your jam. I don't know if I did the ingredients right, but you want to have my gram the jam and you've got little dollops here and there. And then you're dancing and then you want little dollops of your peanut butter. The peanut butter is harder to dollop because it's quite a thicker context consistency. You could microwave your peanut butter, but every time I've microwaved peanut butter, I've ended up ruining it. And it's a disaster. So I'm just gonna do it plain like this. I don't think I'm gonna edit this video. I think I'm just gonna leave it with me kind of talking over so you can watch anything I do. I will edit a text in with ingredients and cooking time. <laughs> You do need your oven on 170 degrees, and I think it bakes in 30 minutes. That's a good check, I could be wrong. I mean, all you wanna do, you wanna get a skewer and just swirl it in. But swirl pattern is super fun. I will get Leo to do it, but you've seen him. He's probably gonna try and eat it. My little, we call him a little gannet because he never stops eating. He's currently picking up the tiniest bits of chocolate. You can add more peanut butter if you want to make a better pattern, but like what I'm doing now, I've got my peanut butter has kind of sunk. And I do want it to have the nice swirls in when it's baked. Let me swirl it all around. You're going to form a little monk skin. I really want to swirl. Leo, swirl it. Give it a little swirl. Good boy, super job. Then you want you to get your little jammy monsters and get plate them gently on top. Do not push them into the batter because when the batter rises, it will then swallow the mixture. There will be one left. I can't really be bothered to go and grab another one from our snack cupboard. So there will be a plain little bit of brownie without eat. So this is it before it goes in my oven. I'm gonna bake this for, let me have a quick look. Let me pop in my oven now. That goes in for 35 to 40 minutes. At around 15 to 20 minutes, you wanna take it out and cover it with foil. So the organic jammy dodgers don't go brown or burn. But that is our first ever bake show. You've had a lot of chocolate, but you're gonna be a hyper bummer if you deal with. So that will be fun. But thank you for joining us. I will edit a photo on to the end of this clip when this is over with the finished brownies and probably with someone enjoying them. You're gonna wait, bye. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like. Bye.